Hey everybody, Kenny here, Ken Small Engines. I wanted to show you this spark plug tester I bought a while back. Um, I'm into gadgets, I like all kinds of gadgets, and uh, I had a lot of orphan plugs. I always keep my orphan plugs, and a lot of them are the, the torch plugs, because you know when I see one of these torches, I just usually throw it out anyway, but no, I've been keeping them all. But anyway, this tester, I like it. The only problem, the only thing I don't like about this tester is called a Duoi, D-U-O-Y-I, and I'll put a link to it. A number DY28 tester. You see it on Amazon. I got it. It was on special months ago. I think it was 40 bucks, and I bought it. Anyway, when you turn on this, it generates enough current to light a spark on a spark plug. But it only works on extended reach plugs, meaning the long plugs, not the short plugs. For example, if you have like a, a chainsaw plug or a short plug, it won't work on that because the, the top part where it hits the bottom is like down here somewhere. I'm gonna modify it so it'll work on both, but at this point, these are only made mainly for like car plugs or the longer the longer uh, porcelain plugs. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was this plug here, I took out of a Toro recycler and it wasn't starting, okay? And the reason it wasn't starting was there was so much carbon built up on that that it wouldn't spark. And I literally put it on this tester and I turned it on and it wouldn't spark. So I kept it on there for about two or three minutes and this, I guess the energy burnt through the carbon and now it's sparking. But let me show you how this thing works. You can see now it's sparking really good, okay? And you can turn it up to get a nice crisp spark. And that's how you can take a plug. You take a plug out and I love this thing. Anyway, the reason I wanted to show you this video too is see this plug here? Look down here. See it arcing down there? Let me shut off the other light over here. So maybe you can see it better. Oop, hold on. All right. Look at that. It's not only arcing at the top. It's got a short. So this tester is really good. It tests the spark plug to make sure it's it's good. And it's got a, uh, from like 0 to 8,000 RPM, it says it simulates. But look at that. You can test a plug, and if you got a short, do you think you got a short? There you go. I'm going to try some more plugs out of my, my bin here. And, of course, every every torch plug I put on there is going to fire. Watch, right? Let me throw a new one in here. Let's see what that one is. Yep. Nice blue spark. Now, this one here, it's a white spark, and you should have a crisp blue spark. So maybe because of the carbon, it's not conducting very well. But if you look on here... A nice crisp blue spark. That's what you want. Nice crisp and blue. Yeah, let's try another one. Urgh. Let me turn on a light here real quick. Ah, what do we got in the thing? Let's try. <laughs> Ooh, a Kohler plug. This is one of those infamous Kohler plugs with a weird size wrench flat on it. Let me try one of these. All right, push that in and. Yep, sparking good. Yeah. What else we got? Let's try. What we got here? NGKCS6. I don't know what that is, but or where it's from. But let's try it out. Ready? Yep. Nice crisp blue spark. All right. What else we got in here? Uh. Let me, oh, here's another torch. Torch! Let's see what we got. Let's try it. Yeah, looks like it's working, but guarantee when I took it out, it wasn't working. One thing I found on the torch, they're not consistent. You can get, there's another torch. You get spark, but sometimes it's not a consistent spark. All right, another torch. Let's see what we got here. See, that one looks pretty good. Nice blue spark, looks pretty good. And I'll be honest, friends of mine in the UK, my friend uh, Roy's the boy, he loves the torch plugs. Never has a problem, and that's okay. All right, here, yeah, the infamous RC12YC. These things are just about every overhead engine here, let's see. Aha, let me turn off the light, I'll show you what's going on with this one. There you go. Shorten on the bottom, I'm not gonna touch it, I don't get it electrocuted, but yeah, it's a crisp blue spark here, 
but it's shorting there. So who knows how it's going to run on a machine. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, hey, I do suggest for the money, if you do a lot of small engine work, invest in one of these. You can tell right off the bat if you have a shorted out plug, if the spark is nice and crisp blue. Because sometimes you, it's Sunday, you don't have time or you don't have the plug you need. And you say, oh, what am I going to do? So you go into your old plug bin there and you pull one out. Well, this is a good way to test it. All right. It simulates from 500 to, what is it here? 6,000 RPM on there. And uh, it does a good job. It really does. Like I said, this plug here that was carbon fouled would not spark. I've had it sitting in here for a while, wouldn't spark. I let it sit for about five minutes on full energy and it must've eaten away at the carbon and now it sparks. But it's a great tool. You can see the shorted out plugs when they're there. Again, it's a Duoi DY28. I'll put the link in the description. Hey, they didn't send it to me. I bought it with my own money and you know what? I definitely use my spark checker, which I love. This thing is great. Let's see if this thing will even pick up spark on this thing. Hold on. We'll turn it on the max. And let's see. Yeah, it picks up, but there we go. I'm holding it over. Hey, look at that. I'm holding it over the socket and it's glowing green. So yeah, the tester works. All right, again, do I, DY28. For what it costs, pick one up. If you're into small engines or even anything with a spark plug, uh, I, I really recommend it. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna modify the socket so that shorter plugs will get the juice too. So you can test them, J19LMs, any of the uh, chainsaw plugs. All right guys, that's it for now. Pick one up, I think you'll enjoy it. Again, we will talk to you soon, bye-bye.